Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer. Welcome back to Gladiator Manager. It's episode number seven. You know, I might have spoken a little too soon last episode on my prediction that sustainability for this series was maybe 20 to 30 episodes. Pretty good uptick in the first few episodes and subsequent episodes uh, in, in terms of viewership, seemingly overnight. And I think we might be able to push 30 to 40 episodes at this point uh, for this series, which does help with the longevity of it. But I still like the idea I mentioned last episode about upping the pace a bit so we can get deeper into this series. Because even if we're looking at 30, 40 episodes, even if we did a whole round each episode, that that's still a, what, nine episode season, uh, typically, and you're only going to get through so many seasons that way. So I do want to have the occasional episode where we really, really up the pace and get through two or three rounds and shorten that window down a little bit so that we can keep seasons down to maybe six or seven episodes instead of nine to 11. Uh, I, I think that would be good for the sake of the series. And today, this episode, we're going to do that. So, uh, all the battles that we partake in are all going to go through the uh, time-lapse format so that it's done within seconds instead of many minutes, and that'll allow us to play through maybe three rounds. Let's get to it. I don't know how this has happened, but Turricum, that is their entire team. There is no one else. They have only two available fighters. Which means when they get to their 3v3, 4v3, 4v4 rounds, if none of the other fighters are recovered, they're going to end up having to take the random assigned ones, which are going to be very, very, very low half-star type fighters. So Turcum's in a whole lot of trouble right now. Uh, things are not looking good for them. In fact, it looks like really out of this entire group, there's only three wins uh, for any of them so they're having a rough go which means we really can take somebody into this fight that doesn't necessarily need to be that strong like say Adnamesha, who can crush either of those two let's do it yes okay we do have a significant advantage let's get into this <laughs> quite the fight in the end animation had a slight advantage continually throughout uh, she inflicted a couple minor injuries one in the end just counting the other one uh, being too minor to count but 48 4 on the damage I mean we were always in control but we <clears throat> hit percentage wise not that great um, so we just weren't landing that many blows we were perfect in our defense but they were defensive so much of the time Animation had a bit of a challenge trying to get through that, but in the end, we do. Uh, she's ready to level up. That's nice. Initiative, strength, toughness, and leadership, all plus five. Speed, plus two in training, and that is why we sent her into that fight. Ovalava, the second place side, is up next. They've taken a loss, so we're actually now within striking distance. A win would not put us ahead unless we add a kill. And that would still only make us equal, and I'm guessing we'll still be slightly behind on the four against as it's a 2v2. There's no way that we could catch up on this match, but we could draw level. Or just about anyway, maybe within a point if we don't add a kill in the process. So, Durachium, we've long since said, two strong fighters, but both with expiring contracts, and then they should drop off. Ovalava is going to be the one who 
even though they're second place, is probably a little bit tougher. And we're getting mostly healthy now as we head into this one. So I don't know if I like our chances per se, but uh, I like our chances a lot better than previous rounds. Also, halfway point in the year, so we are coming up into that back half. And uh, whew, here we go. Uh, Ovalava is the last of the set, so Durachium is also just a couple of matches away after this one. Our 4v4, I think. Zaneda is unavailable, but look who's back, Elia. Let's check out the opponent here. They've got at least a couple out. Uh, there's one with very high initiative, but actually f kind of weak otherwise. Cornelia is a fairly decent fighter in most respects. Tertius is tolerable, but not... Ooh, hello, this is all they have. This is all they have. They are down to a very small team. Uh, the initiative here with Elulia and the Cornelia, I mean, you figure those are the two that they would most likely take. I mean, how is this one 4-0? <laughs> Unless they just recovered from a major injury and are not the same fighter that they were. I think we could actually win this thing. We are not taking our chances, though. Elia, back into the gladiator ring, and maybe Oksana, or yes, probably Oksana. Uh, do we want Rudovicious? Take Rudovicious. I am not taking chances here. We, we are going in strong. Crowd is almost 6,000, much bigger than what it was before. It's the second place side. We're, we're fighting this. Uh, oh, Melanie was the other pick. They, they did go for the weaker fighter. So we have this high initiative in the Aluya. All right, uh, do we have any disadvantages? Yes, they have an advantage over Gladiator. So maybe we can swap them. Can we do that? There we go. Okay. Gladiator on Gladiator, so no advantage. No advantage. Sorry, I'm not sure who it was that mentioned in the comments that you could click and drag your replacement if you have that advantage uh, to go first. Wow, what a difference that makes. It's not just moving over one spot. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Both of them inflicting heavy damage right off the bat. And Elio, a one-hit takedown. <laughs> that is the fastest fight that I have ever had in this game. And it's against the second place side in the league. Wow. Awesome. Still a point behind, but almost more important to this is that Durachium has finally picked up a loss. So the the side that wasn't losing anything, I think those two are out, or at least one of them is definitely gone by now. So even though we are going to be up against Rachium quite soon, they're not going to be the same side anymore. And as previously mentioned, I think there's a chance that we're going to start gaining some ground on them and that we still could win the league this season. For the next fight, we're going to get Sammy to uh, use up his final fight of his contract, so he'll be out. So we'll free up that space. And then, not taking our chances, we'll bring in Elia to the fight, but then also more experience for Adnamasia. And they only have four choices, and only one of them is decent, so this should be another easy one, but Danny Melee could do something. But we're also due for a quick sim. And so we're going to take our chances on that and see what happens. 3 nothing on the win. Everybody's unhurt. No injuries. In fact, we only inflicted two. Only took four damage. Three, 59 to 4. Okay. Sweet.
Very high intelligence. 26. We're not going to see regression. 14 fight sentence. Some really good stats. Others not so good. Uh, but no cost. We're going to take our chances on this one. Ah, damn. Those were the only decent attributes. Everything else was garbage. Unfortunate there. Damn. Okay. Only one of their top two fighters remains Paulina Lucia, who crushed us both of the times we've uh, gone up against her actually previously. But she finally took a loss and an injury. And that's given us a small chance. But they have some really good replacements already i mean they're still a stronger team than we are i think on paper i mean giselle missy here uh leader citizen so not going anywhere they've already taken care of their replacements i have a feeling based on that roster and those they had two good fighters and one of them is gone and the other one is still there but has just two fights left but is out injured so they should be so much weaker. They're not. They're not at all. They've picked up five or six really good fighters, uh, or at least good fighters. Uh, you know, we have a handful of those, and we're going to need to now go for really the four best we can get our hands on and see what we can do. Um, not necessarily liking our chances for this fight, and. I'm nervous about risking it. I think maybe we should be fighting for second place overall. But there's a chance that we could win this. And so you don't really want to throw that away. Is Adamasia now? No, no, no. Rid of Vicious. There you go. There's our four best right now. Adamasia is now our fifth best overall. We're putting forward a pretty good group. And if they take any less than that top four or so then we really have a decent chance i mean like tertius we've got an advantage over tertius uh, even josie body we have an advantage over i mean that was their third best fighter before and still never even been in a fight uh giselle's matched pretty evenly with us uh albie were better than uh, this group of four karen were better than karen with that group of four uh vitali we're a little bit better. Agrippina is pretty similar to us. So they have two fighters that are on our level, I'd say. Uh, and then they have a number of fighters that are a little below. With Elia back, I think we could win this thing. Okay, and they, they picked the group I expected them to. Agrippina is the one we got to watch out for. She's a leader. Do we have a gladiator? We do. Izzy or Ritavicious? Ritavicious? No. Oh, I don't have the advantage. No. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, gladiator, leader. Advantage set. Uh, let's see. Albi, Vitali, Josie. Wow, Josie has no speed. Looks like the Telly actually might be the next best one. A rogue. Do we have a barbarian in our midst? No, we do not. Okay, they have a defender. So do we have a leader? No, we do not. And another rogue. So we don't match up with any of those, but do they match up with us? Defender, we have no barbarian. And the rogue. Okay, so we're good. We're good. Now it's just who do we want to match up with who. We've got the advantage against their strongest fighter. And that's going to give us a little bit of an edge there. We're not much better. Alright, so most are engaged in... Oh! <laughs> Is that a win already? Did Oksana just do another one hit? Yes, she did. First strike, charged in. She took some damage, but immediately gave us that 4-3 edge. And everybody is engaged. Oksana will help here. We'll hopefully bring him down, and then she'll come over and help with Agrippina. So 
Rid of Vicious, you're gonna try to stand firm for a little bit. And then, yes, go ahead and charge in, that's fine. I'll go for the slash, and then the jab. And she's trying to pull out. She want to get closer to her teammates. Couldn't do so. Wow. And Oksana did nothing. I did mention we were looking to go fast, but this is the matchup with the top team, and we might finally get a win. So uh, I, I guess we'll only use a mixture of time lapse here oh yeah you got to get yourself figured out here why are you struggling you come back from the fighter you're not the same fighter anymore okay, no pressing the advantage you're gonna be safe down Disarmed. Nope, she held on to it. 246 right leg and out. Nice combo between Izzy and Oksana. They took him out of the fight. Yes, is disarmed. Okay. So, Izzy, you're now going to join here. Go ahead. You do not have advantage. Stay on jab. Oksana, go ahead and push left. She's disarmed, so let's be aggressive while she is. And it's four on two. Oh, big blow knocked her down on her bottom. She's panicked, she's fallen, and she's disarmed. Okay, they're both going to push that advantage. Right. Josie taking a double whammy. Same with Agrippina, and she yields. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Another double hit. Uh, Elia keeps taking minor damage from Josie, but both of them keep inflicting pretty heavy damage on Josie. She's not going to last much longer. She's fallen. 107 torso damage. That might do it. And it does. Fight over. Victory. 4-0 against the league leaders. Who admittedly are not the same team they were before. But they retooled pretty well since last time we faced off with them. Everybody's unhurt, only 14 damage taken. Most of that was to Elia. Oh, I was gonna say we're the only 4-0, but Ovalava also 4-0. Picking up. Many, many achievements here. Izzy and Oksana both ready to level up. Each gap now to fifth place. Fourth place is five points back. We're six points off the lead now and just one point out of second. So it's definitely emerging as a top four and then uh, a much closer battle from fifth to eighth or even ninth in that matter. Sermium, just two wins. Ouch, that, that does hurt. Uh, in terms of wow, kills, Dracium and Ovalava both just picked up. Oh no, Ovalava I think already had their second, but Dracium somehow just he climbed out of the cellar. I think they only had one, and now all of a sudden they have three. Obviously not in our fight, but that must have been the previous fight. I just didn't notice. Vasantio also picking up another kill. Uh, only one side without a kill so far, so we're actually kind of dragging behind when it comes to... Uh, getting kills this season oh the, okay so we're not going backwards we're back to the top of the order it was just that we were heading into a couple bye weeks and it was still showing off 
uh, Adamasia adding speed. Elia has improved as well. Also a good result here as there was very little regression this week among the squad. And we're up to week 31, so we're making some rapid progress. Uh, not going as fast as I would have liked for this episode, but we could still get through another couple of fights. Holy cow. They only have one fighter available, but it's a heck of a fighter. And it's a 1v1. I think we're kind of heading for a loss. We only have one fight left with Oksana. And I fear the worst could happen with a fighter of this strength. Uh, so instead of Elia and risking long term, uh, we're going to go ahead and use Oksana, who's out one way or another after this anyway. We'll go for the win, but I really don't like our chances for this fight. As predicted, the single fighter who was better than our best, while we weren't massively disadvantaged, she hit us three out of four times getting through the block and not because of the type of blow but just because better skill and the skill getting through our defense and, and that just instead of giving us control in the fight which was what I was hoping for to go defensive gain control and then through getting the upper hand being able to uh, get an advantage in the fight not the case at all uh punctured lung for Oksana. She does survive at least, not giving them additional points. But uh, I did fear the worst, and that is exactly what happened. And we go down in this one due to just poor timing on the matchup. A 1v1 against a side who had literally one fighter, but one absurdly good fighter was all they had. And that one fighter obviously uh, survives that and, and wins. Uh, pretty comfortably so Oksana who somehow survives the fight but she's served her sentence she's gone Adamasia seven on discipline one on speed getting better and better all the time Aurelia finally uh, seeing some improvement Visantio up next they are a bit of a threat behind us we are available to to go after some new recruits again so let's see what we have here Well, I don't know what this game has against me. I mean, that second round, we had so many quality options, and there's been almost nothing since then. There was one, one little period where we were kind of okay on our choices. Uh, besides that second wave of of selections, but boy, the last three or four have been atrocious. I mean, we haven't found one decent fighter in the last uh, 16 weeks or so. Animation now, three stars. She's getting better and better, uh, much more competent. That weapon skill really needs to improve. The discipline, the leadership, the bravery need to improve, but she's come a long way already and still just 16. Zaneda is ready to go again. Uh, 10 wins still available, it's just 3 stars, but certainly better than some of the others. Izzy at the 5 stars, uh, down to just 2 more fights for Izzy, and that's kind of that problem, is that group is starting to expire, and we don't have much in terms of other choices. Uh, Demisha is tolerable, love to get rid of Fred. Tell is okay, Millie's okay. Primus, I mean, it's it's certainly better than what we're seeing with some of the other teams in terms of depth, but Udavicious down to just four and a half stars from the five stars he was at previously, and down to five more wins before he's going to be gone. Ugh, Teddy, disappointing. That's the only one we've picked up in the last few waves of new gladiators to choose from. 
Aurelia is improving. She was one star, now up to one and a half. Uh, that three stars will be capable, but that's it. That's all she's going to get, so she's fairly useless to us. Okay, so Visantio. We'll get through one and a half, I guess. That's better than nothing, and oh my goodness. Yes, okay, this will be an easy fight. This will be an easy fight. They are down and out on their luck right now. Uh, let's not waste an Izzy. But maybe we'll waste somebody. Much easier fight than I expected, and we do come out on top. Unhurt. Only two damage taken. Three injuries inflicted. Still no kills, but a comfortable victory against what was supposed to be one of the better sides. But the teams have a very different look to them than they had at the start of the year. So there's one thing I'm really starting to pick up on with this game is that the the teams evolve a lot with the way the contracts are set up. With It's not just fighters going down and getting wounded and or killed. Uh, there's a lot of other factors, the way the contracts are set up. You, you see a lot of teams, a lot of fighters come and go. And it really does change the landscape uh, of a team pretty regularly. Adnamesha picks up five points. Domitia picks up four points. So here's how we look after... The next one and a half rounds have been played. We're now at 17 and 5. Dracium, just two losses, but both of them within this episode, and one of them inflicted by us. And we're just still a single point behind Ovalava, who have also picked up a loss over these last two matches. Uh, Vasantio had closed the gap slightly, but we just picked it back up to four wins ahead of them so that's now a seven point gap over them so that is larger than it was at the start of the episode Ramium, you've of them they're, they're both a little closer uh, in a way but i think the gap is ultimately the same and possibly bigger uh so you know healthy gap behind us other than vasantio who lurk in the not too distant gap behind us but far enough that they're not much of a threat so we we've kind of gone from a comfortable third to now right on the heels of second and we took what was it just one loss right one loss in this episode Dirachium took two losses so we are closer than we were we're closing in on the top slowly but surely plenty of season still to go that's 22 matches played of 36 right 36 for the season so 14 to go plenty of time in 14 to make up that ground and maybe just maybe squeeze it out for the win uh, but our big problem is finding better fighters and we've really really struggled in the last dozen weeks or so to find anything even remotely respectable among those choices we've got some money uh Cup is ongoing. I think it's into the third round. Yes, it is. So into the third round, of course, we are long gone out of that thing, and it's not going to be a concern of ours for at least a couple of seasons until we make that type of improvement uh, to be able to put up you know, a decent fight and get through a couple rounds anyway. But my big concern is the number of fights left. Izzy, down to two. We just lost one of our other fighters in Oksana, who is done. Uh, Rita Vicious is down to five, so we need some replacements soon. Uh, you know, we've already lost one of our top four fighters permanently, and at this point, no replacements coming on. Adnamesha is definitely growing into that role. She's four and one in her fights, so she's only picked up one loss. But where can we get some support? Millie's not good enough. 
you know, we're, we're really down to just four right now that can basically fight, and Animatia has moved into that fourth slot. So two of them, no worries. Long term, trying to keep them healthy is very important. But two fighters, two more fighters on the verge of kind of leaving us behind, and that's that's a problem. We've got 11000 for signing. We've got almost 1400 in budget available, so there's some good money. We just need to find a good fighter or two coming along in the woodworks. That's going to do it for this episode. I'm Kathleen Gamer. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to hit that like button. I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there, and bye for now.